Hey everyone, it's Jonathan from Guitar Player Academy here, and today we're going over Superstition by Stevie Wonder. If you find the tutorial at all helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. So, there's two main sections of the song, and honestly, that opening riff you heard takes up 75-80% of our guitar part. There is a pre-chorus slash bridge section, if you want to call it that, that sounds a little something like this. But as you can tell, we're right back to that riff. Uh, just a quick note, I believe if you listen to the recording, this song is in the key of E flat. We're doing this song in the key of E, just for standard tuning purposes. So, uh, going over this riff, let's play it really slow and then I'll break it down note by note. That's all it is. So, we're taking our index finger and starting it on the 5th fret on the E string. Picking and hammering on our ring finger onto the seventh fret, still on the E string. Same exact fingerings next, but on the A string. So five, seven, A string now, five, seven. So after that, we're moving over to an open E string. Right? We're using our seventh, uh, excuse me, our ring finger on the seventh fret, A string, back to fifth, back to seventh, right? That next note, so seven, five, seven, back to the fifth fret now on the D string. I tend to bend that just like a quarter step. We're back on the fifth string, the A string on the fifth fret. Hit it again, hammer back onto that seventh fret. Move over to the E string, go five to seven. Five, seven, five, seven. So that was five, seven E string. 5, 7, A string, and then another curl down, and to end it off, we go 5, back to 7. So we're going to play it really slowly again, I know that was a lot of 5, 7, 5, 7, 5, 7, but that's really the entirety of the lick, so we'll break down very slowly this time. Again. Faster. is 75% of the song right there. So if you can get that down, that's that's huge. Um, a quick note, I believe the keyboards actually do that on the recording. Um, however, when I play this live, a lot of people want to hear that signature line. And so 
I tend to throw it in there, right? So now we have part two, right? Which is just... So all we're doing is we're keeping the same shape and moving it around this E box. So what I'm doing here is I am planting my middle finger on the third, fifth, seventh, ninth fret D string. And then I am taking my index finger on the eighth fret G string, on the 10th fret B string, I'm taking my ring finger and making almost like this triangle shape. Now all you're playing is just a B7 chord. So you could do, move it up, back down. You could do that. I prefer move up a half step, same shape, don't move your fingers, back down to our B, half step down, another half step down, and back up to our B. So, so it's really a whole step move. So, feed right back into that section. So again, one more time. Full speed now. And that's it. Now, there's one last main section here that as a guitar player, you're just doing this. However, it's really impactful if you can double what I call the horn chorus, which is. That's super impactful. If you have a horn section and you double it with them, or if you don't have a horn section and your keyboard player is already laying down that, that riff, why double? You might as well add something to the mix. So all we're doing for that first section is we are on the third, fifth, seventh, ninth fret with our ring finger on the G string. It's gonna be a lot of nine, seven still on the G string. Nine, seven, nine. Then you have, which we're moving to the D string on the third, fifth, seventh fret. And you're kind of just hammering on. So seven, eight, nine. Back the seventh on the G string. So, back to ninth on the D string. So that's, you're back to again, G string, seventh fret. And that phrase off on the ninth fret G string. Start it over again. So again, that's just nine, seven, nine. And then on the tenth fret, I am using my ring finger. and I'm bending up to that B. So 
So bend, seventh fret, bend up. And end it off on with my middle finger on the G string on the ninth fret. And that's the entire song, Superstition. If you guys found this helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. And if you don't ever want to miss a video, hit that notification bell. And remember, keep on shedding and keep coming back because we want to make you the best guitar player you can be.